Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. This is going to be episode 31 here. And if you've seen the last episode, you know I kind of messed this all up. So what I'm going to do is prioritize fixing this filter for now. Actually, let's prioritize fixing all of these for right now. They might just break again. Nope, they're not breaking. Nope, they're breaking. That'll keep my water flowing for a short amount of time anyway. The steam is already going away, and it should go back to being the right temperature that you want it to be. Not that. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit. I have decided I'm going to... Alright, let's put these all back down to a 5. They're going to break, but it might they might equalize the temperature here before it finishes breaking. Because there is cold up here that's kind of working its way down ah sort of what temperature is the water going out now that really freaked everything up didn't it it did that's dormant now all right let's go down here and look and see what this is because it's a slow process waiting for this to get made waiting coolant why do you have no coolant where did all the coolant go did it leak yes because the insulated pipe broke Oh, it was just holding on to all the coolant. Just does not cool it enough to consistently keep up with what needs to be running. And I'm using polluted water too, which should have a high heat tolerance. Oh good, that what that ice melted. And that'll help cool things down a little. Not a lot, but a little. Put a lot of water down in here. Fortunately, that's significantly hot water. I could technically, if I find another slush geyser, that is coolant right off the bat that I can use, that I can pump out of there and use for cooling things. I also have this geyser here, another cool steam vent, but I have another steam vent over there. The question of how, how hot does steam vents get is really the question. This is 124, but that's been dormant for a while. So if I put like two aqua tuners in there, it's still a hundred because they're 25 degrees, right? Let me let me just double check that they are. Yeah, they cool your water by 25 degrees. So assuming I build them out of steel and I need 1200 steel each to build them, then I use one. Maybe that's what it is. Instead of running multiples at the same time, you run one, cool it, and then I don't know how that would work. I was thinking like you run one, cool it down, like pump the water in, then pump the water out of it into a tank, and then out of the tank, back into it? No, that wouldn't work. I was thinking of like running one on a loop. Maybe if you ran it into a tank that was half full for a while. It's so full of water too. You know what I'm saying though, is like use tanks as buffers so that they're not running all at the same time. Because to run multiple aqua tuners at the same time, you're looking at a massive amount of electricity. And to make up that electricity, I don't know if just going wholeheartedly on steel as much as possible. And then using the steel to do your solar panels and stuff like that, if that is the best bet. That could be it. You know, just go towards solar and get all that hooked up because I don't really I'm not having a well yeah I do have a bit of a power problem and then I don't have to worry about so much of the steam generation part of it but if I use aqua tuners they are going to get stuff hot and if they get something hot then I need to find a way to cool it back down and the steam turbine does do that because eventually the water will get hot I need to use it for something Hmm, no such thing as free energy, really. I mean, technically, shovels are unlimited food. Kind of. If I can get enough of them breeding, like enough hatches from them, then it would be something I don't have to worry about as much. But that's not that's a difference from saying I don't have to worry about it as much to saying I don't have to worry about it at all. It might still have to supplement food, but I would think if I get a lot of them, I don't need to worry about food. But if I don't have to worry about food, then, then I wouldn't have to worry about water, which means I won't really have to worry about cooling the water from the geysers. But they will still consume water with their food, even though it's a little bit. I don't know if you can recycle almost all of it with no waste and the plants are what's using it, or you're going to need it. It could be that just one slush geyser would be enough to supply the water needs for my entire colony. And if that's the case, then... Yeah, if I just did shovels right off the get-go, 
and then worry about the rest of this instead of trying to jump into a billion different little systems at once that might have been more efficient I mean toilets why is it are they overheating why do they why, why would they break is that from that one time Brian how did Brian get in there or maybe the idea is to find a hydrogen generator hydrogen geyser if that's such a thing which I'm starting to think it's not and then use uh, and then after you find the hydrogen geyser, you power up one of those high thermo nullifier or whatchamacallums that I was founding out in the frozen ice biomes. And that's how you're supposed to do these things. Thermo nullifier, anti-entropy anti thermo nullifiers, and then use these to cool down whatever heat we're generating. And that's why they put them there, is because they're actually a crucial part of the game. Still, thermo nullifier... <laughs> Thermal aqua tuners do seem to be the way to go. And I feel I could be getting more power out of this. I don't know if it's because the steam is not hot enough. Maybe what I need to do is just destroy all of this. Just destroy it all. Leave this geyser in here to run that. But it's going to take me forever to get the steam back up and running again. And it is running. I will give it that. It is running consistently. And that is helping cool this down. Temperature look like out here is it still too hot? It's cooling ish sort of I mean it is going like I said the steam really fricked it up But it will cool down in the long term. We can open that Let that water come out. I'm gonna put this up at a nine so they at least repair that not that it matters Really, which is a bit of a waste of resources, too. What do we got cool salt slush geyser? Oh my gosh, it was worth it. It was worth it that's good. That's really good. Let's do omelets. That's really good. And I'm not too far. Wait, where did this water come from? Where did this come from? I mopped this up. Does it just empty its own bottles? Did somebody have to come in here? Idle. Alright, so cool slush. It's gonna be cold salt water. Cold salt water mixed with my hot salt water. Or I could just turn it into water down here because I have the salt wait yeah because it wouldn't take much power and I already have power right here so what I need to do is plan this out Okay, so I got a couple wheeze warts planted on up in here now, which should help cool this down a little bit from the 115 it's at. Because this is just residual heat off of this hydrogen generator because I never actually did end up putting insulated tiles there because I figured this was the top of the base and it's really, it's not the top of the base. In theory, you know, you would think that you would put every room possible in, in insulated tiles for the effect that they wouldn't have to, uh... How cool does it get over here? Did it cool down at all? 150. It's a little better. 167. Alright, so these can all be repaired sooner than later. And they're finishing up this pipe here, which is actually only missing two pieces there, and then the desalinator, and then I'll be able to start... Oh, and there's an electric wire there, too. Oh, okay, that's why they can't get to it because they can't dig out that's all that is where is the brine going is it freezing as it comes down it could very well be i guess all right that's good i leave this on the go to yellow alert every time it's broken because they have to keep repairing this let's just replace that with a steel pipe not a steel pipe um cold maglium it can actually be anything I think, I don't know if the gold pipe will overheat as well. Yep, broken. Steel. Can I do steel insulated pipe? Steel radiant pipe, 360 degrees. Why is it broken? Too cold? Blooded? Maybe? It didn't, I, I didn't get to see why it actually broke. Overloaded? Underloaded? Pipe blocked. Figured that'll help cool everything down in this area. 
Or maybe I'm just not as lucky with this one and I'm gonna have to actually... Oh, cold damage. How ironic is that? Here I was worried about the heat and I really shouldn't be. I mean, it's very cold in there. Negative 20. Oxide. Well, where is it going though? I don't see ice. Unless that's what that is. And this is up here and it's 105 out here. Brian, Brian, Brian going in at 45, 46. Well, there's Brian in there. Oh, the pipe is breaking. That's why this needs to be fixed. Maybe because it's 110 out here, I just need to pump it out of there as soon as it falls into tanks out here in this room. That might be the way to do it. That way it just sits out here in tanks and warms up. Oh, they disconnected it. Okay. So this, by the time that water goes up here, it's going to be 90 degrees, which is kind of crazy, but it's going in there at 68. So no noticeable difference, really. Wait, 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 wait. Why is that tungsten pipe? Gosh, did I have it set to steel? Okay, cold damage. Broken. All right, it's too cold. All right, let's... What's in here? I don't think empty pipes will take cold damage. All right, let's deconstruct this. And what I'm gonna do... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's brine. I don't need brine going up there. I mean, it's fine. It's just gonna be a little bit. Frick. I mean, technically, I could just take this brine, but it'll heat up pretty fast, I think. 12 degrees, because it is 119 here. Or maybe what I should do is pump it all the way on up there, because brick cooling down here. Here, let's cancel this real quick. We're gonna go out, up. Deconstruct this priority now. Okay. Just so no more brine gets in my fresh water. Now I can either put that here or I can just keep on going with it. These aren't taking damage though, I don't think. Maybe they are. Maybe that needs to be insulated pipe. 25, 19. I have a feeling by the time it gets up here, it should be pretty warm. Where is that brine coming from? Water only out. Carbon skimmer out. Why does this have brine on the end pipe? How did that get in there? Into the sink, into the skimmer. Oh, wait a second. No, that's fresh water. I don't know. Okay, there it is. 68, 20 degrees, 16, 24, 70. Why did it stop at the bridge? Is that all the water I have? It is raising in temperature though. That's cool. And that's a radiator pipe. That's gonna help cool things down, depending on how long it sits there, obviously. Oh, okay, that was the closest it could get. Storing water at 102, 47. Let's see how cold this stuff gets. Let's wait right on up here. 30 degrees. So that will equalize the temperature of the stuff in there, I would think. It's gonna help delete a little bit of heat by the ladders and whatnot, but not much. I mean, considering it's coming up there at very freezing cold, and then by the time it's getting up here, it's, oh, what do we got, 42. Oh, okay, that's heating up this pretty fast. Darn. All the way up at 98, 99. Should be lowering the temperature, though. It's gotta be losing temperature. It's gotta be. I mean, I know it's hot right here, right now. But, like, as a whole, you would think this would help, all in all, lower it. Anyways, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, I guess it's not the end of the world. We'll just leave that be and see. Temperature in here will go is going down a bit. It's taking a while, but it is going down, and all my steam is gone. So that's an upside. Bosmer. Dormant. Next activity in seven cycles. And again, this has not really super warmed this area up. Brian at 82, 81, 83, well, 2.4. I mean, it's helping. Slowly, 103.2. 104.3 and then the temp the question is is how cold that's at 60 degrees in there let's just give that the green cycle and then we're going to put it back down to like what's this one at 74.9 that's got a very little like that's hot that's hot that's hot this not so much oh yeah that is cooling it down in here quite a lot good 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 oh that's a lot of water where is that all coming from Partially up here. It's broken, but it's off anyway, so it doesn't matter. 42 degrees, 38, 78.8. Well, it's sort of working. Got this air down to 90 degrees. I think the water's doing that too. 
it'll all equal out eventually. This water's at 146. That's going to take a little longer, though. Shovels are going good. That's what's probably helping me get up to 208,000 calories, I would think. Let's see. Let me put up meat. No, only 3,200 calories of that. I want to see if that'll go up on its own. I would think it would. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I should check up here. See if that wheezewort is helping at all. Nope. If it is, it isn't much yet. Oh, well, that's a very serene looking waterfall. Alright, let's go look over here at this steam geyser. Dormant still. How am I doing on steel? I get more of this being made. Actually, I could probably do iron to steel consistently and then use other metals for other stuff. Alright, bunker doors. How much metal I got? I only got enough for two. These require wat wattage too? Yeah, 120 watts of power. And these only produce 300. So there must be a way to stack them. Like, solar panel, glass, solar panel, etc. What's that? Shovel with moderate wounds? Did you get hit with a meteor, buddy? So it definitely comes down to using heat, you know what I mean? To keep everything running. It's all about the um, using the heat efficiently. It's a power source as well. Fading coolant. Alright, this keeps breaking. Even though I put steel pipe in there, it's broken again. Maybe the reasoning behind that is that the aqua tuners, there's not enough of them to get the water nice and cool. Like, if I put multiple aqua tuners up here, it's gonna get the water hotter, but it would cool down below it faster, right? How many steam turbines, how much steam do I need? I'm kind of thinking this whole setup here is wrong. You know what I mean? Maybe I need a small amount of water. Get it bubbling, bubbling hot. Which I kind of have here. This is a smaller room, too. So if I get this water hot, er, another aqua tuner or two, run a radiant pipe here. Maybe that's what it should be, is it should be like radiant pipes instead of airflow tiles. I mean, this is all similarly the same temperature. But the thing is, is like, who cares if this stays cold? If this stays the same temperature as that, we kind of want to keep this in its own room, one temperature, and this hot. So if I was to build, say, one steam turbine can produce up to 850 watts. Aqua tuners consume 1,200. So I would need one, two, three, four. I would need three of these would be what? Uh... Eight, 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 eight. Three of these would be 2,400. So I need three of these for every two aqua tuners, right? That's the general idea. So like this should, by rights, this should get expanded out and get multiple steam turbines. Like one here, two, three, right? But I need more steam. So maybe what I should do... This is equal temperature, though, but it's not cooling enough. And I was thinking of using the heat for these directly to heat that. And that might be the wrong way to think about doing it. Maybe I should use the heat from these. Like, if I take this little bit of water here, there's not much there, right? And I steamify that. I could be thinking of this being way too much water, too. At 186, yeah, maybe I just need to add, like, more aqua tuners. This is all going to turn to steam, overcook, and then everything's going to die, though. And then if I build another aqua tuner, I just need more steel. And I can't get steel because this is empty. So maybe what I need to do is just build a metal refinery, for now, somewhere that stays cool. And then, similar to how I'm piping this water up, put that on a loop. Like, this should be heat. This is heating that up. Is it enough? Unless I just need to build a steel metal refinery that doesn't overheat. I can't do that. So you put the metal refinery in a room like this. What's what's the overheat temperature? This is 194. This is 175. It's 185. 180, 184, 182, 76, 80. Okay, so it's about to overheat. So what's breaking is my pipes. And I need pipes that won't break. And those are not them because that is a steel pipe. And it broke. Yeah, see, steel. So if it breaks when it's just hot, then what I need to do, maybe... Conduction panel. Carries liquid, allowing extreme temperature exchange with overlapping buildings. So this is a radiator. Can be run through walls and floor tiles. Can be run through floor and floor tiles. 
transfer heat effectively if no liquid is passing through. Oh my gosh, so maybe what I should do... Can transfer heat effectively even if no liquid is flowing through. Alright, so... Maybe the pipe is breaking. Alright, so what I could do... Okay, I can do this. Frick, that's four but tiles. Frick, frick, frick. And I don't want that really hot water moving anywhere. But these buildings, to be fair, are not overheating. That's overheats at 190. It's going to overheat, though. I think I did this wrong. I think I did this wrong. What we could do... Let's deconstruct this here. Okay. We're gonna do some replanning. Okay, so now that our room has been moved down one, right? What we're gonna do... Oh, let's look at my plumbing overlay for a second. Okay, we're gonna build our metal refinery. Build it right here. Doesn't matter. We'll build the metal refinery here. Okay, so this is basically what I'm thinking, is that I'm going to use the aqua tuners. I got more built, which I don't have the power to run really, but they should surge enough to get really cold water down to this spot refinery. And then the refinery is going to, all the cold water, see, it's going to run through here, which is going to help cool it down in here, which will help cool down the pipes that are in here. It'll help keep everything cool. I might have to run another pipe, but I don't have that much, a whole ton of metal to work with. Uh, I also don't know why there's no power. Just isn't. Just go with there isn't. Let's see how the temperature's doing over here. 40 degrees. Still very hot in there. Steam temperature below 257. Okay, kind of rude, but I don't understand it. I don't pretend to. No power, no power. That's dead. This one should be up and running. Right, blocked. Is it because of the carbon dioxide again? Carbon dioxide block because there's really a blob of water right there. Yep, and that blocked that, which makes me short on power everywhere. Honestly, now that I know you need coal for refined carbon a little bit more than I originally anticipated, it is important to not use a coal generator. Speaking of, they did building disabled. Okay, so nobody is delivering anything to that. That's good. And we really want that repaired. Because that will get this vent on at least. And once that vent's on, then these will run and power will be on everything again. Too bad there's no way to turn carbon dioxide directly into refined carbon. I don't think that's how that works. Why is it breaking? Long element damage. Where the frick is that brine still circulating from? Sink going out. Carbon skimmer going out. Water filter should have been putting it in with the polluted water. Oh, that's what it is. And then the polluted water, as it comes right out of here, as it comes right out of here, I have it piped in to be used on stuff, which was probably my own fault. So let's deconstruct this for the sink. 
that is water coming up out of the pipe. So this is a more reliable source of water anyway. We're gonna go from here to there and we're gonna hook this up like so. Where's the other spot that the water was being taken out of? This way, goes out. We just wanna make sure that it comes out of the polluted water thingy straight into there and nowhere else instead of going over to that skimmer. That'll stop that from breaking. Why Wolframite? Why? I have 700,000 of this. Yeah, and you're gonna use Wolframite or indoor plumbing. You know what? Cancel. Granite. There we go. Okay. Okay, only fresh water now. Everything else will go down there, and then eventually I'll just filter it out of everything else. Maybe instead of having tanks here, I should just have a vat that it all gets poured into. But then that would require another pump. And I don't really want to use another pump. Oh, it is actually cooling it down in here. Slowly but surely. That's good. And this right here should help cool this whole area down also slowly. Because look at the, what it did in here. And now all my Drekos are happy. Even though they're generally hot creatures. I wonder if the water that comes from here is from them trying to store, like, ice in the base. Okay, so I got the water coming up here. But it seems to be it's stuck here, frozen, cooling, 18 at 46 degrees. But the water that came down here was really hot. Cold damage, cold damage. How cold is it coming out? All right, all right, all right. let's do 50, 70, 72. 70. That water is coming out of negative 5. I don't know why that water is so cold. My other aqua tuners are not working quite that well. But that is cooling the room down. It'll be interesting to see if they keep taking cool damage. Now at the same time, those should really start heating up that water. Maybe I did one too many. But this thing hasn't started heating up the temperature yet either. Because when you look at it, the water I'm bringing over is this stuff, which is at 129 already. Well, that's good. It's cooling everything down in little bursts because it needs to be cold or else it doesn't it doesn't wear through it that fast. That might still be a little too cold, though. 121 going in. I had it on two aqua tuners before and it wasn't working very well. OK, so maybe three is enough because these are the two that are breaking. So let's deconstruct those two. See what temperature we got now, 46, which is just above freezing, which is still enough to cool it down. By the time it ends up over here, it's at like 59, 60. Why is it I'm not able to get 46 degree water from my salt water guys are over there? All right, and this should start heating this up fairly fast. And then my plan is to build three steam generators up here, but not right away. And I do actually have a little water lock, or whatever it's called here, it seems like, by accident. Yeah, that actually, that seems to be working. It's actually helping to off-put the, the kilns problem, too. And because these two areas are insulated, not a lot of this heat should be coming through to here. I mean, some is because of the heavy watt wire, unfortunately, but still. Yeah, there's a barrier there. Good, good, good. I still wanna, I could probably switch though. Once I get a little more steel, I should probably switch these over to steel as well. Because they're all gone to crap. They're kind of breaking. I know, I know. You're just, you just can't work at all. You don't belong in there. I would deconstruct it, but all that heat is back to being majority, for the majority in there. And I want to kind of close this off a little better before I do that. And that is a problem for another day. This is working. Tank's cooling down the whole area. Inside the base is actually a little colder than it needs to be. Why are you using an icy fan? I mean, it's fine, but... I thought I deconstructed all of those. It's idle. Is it... Are these filling up yet? 14, 11, mostly 7 there. Alright, so this is a better way to have a refinery hooked up. Apparently I needed three aqua tuners, which is what I thought I had, but maybe the bigger vat of water also helps. And then cooling down the room everything's in probably helps too, and I thought that's what I had before. Yeah, see, that isn't helping much. Why is that water not hot? Like, cold. 101. 109. Oh, it's because it's sitting there. Because this isn't consistently working. It's coming out at 47. 
Okay, so it is. It's still working. Output pipe full. Maybe that's what it is, is that it's got to go through the radiant pipe, and before I had it just coming out of here and going into a tank. And that's where I was goofing up. I mean, technically, you would think I could shut this off now, but... Because I'm just taking a little bit of water out of there to get it running. Lots of hatches. Back up to 48 tons. I'm thinking I'm going to need a uh, poke shell uh, incubator to get more poke shells so I have more lime. But at the same time, I don't want to cause more problems by letting one of my dupes be in there any longer than they have to be. You know what I mean? Which is probably a good... Actually, why is there no door there? Is that even a stable? It is. Okay. I thought I had a door there. Maybe what I should do is have like an incubator just sitting up here on a platform and they flop down in there. But they might attack if you try to grab their eggs too. Yeah. I don't know if you need to kill them. I think they just die on their own eventually. Sort of like these guys, which is where I'm getting all the meat from, I think. I mean, I'm up to 30. I was up a little higher than 30,000 calories. I was up a little higher than 30,000 calories in meat, which is quite a lot. Okay. Well, <clears throat> water seems to be not that big of an issue anymore. Steam, still working on it. But one of the big things was that I was trying to do was this. This seems to be working again. So I'm getting metal. I'm not getting glass. I should put the glass forge back in there. I had a deconstruct. I had a place to be built, and then I built it, and then I had to deconstruct it because this pipe, this insulated tile, I couldn't reach. So I had to deconstruct it to give them a way to reach up in there. All right, and that's done. I should be able to just deconstruct this pipe here, because there's there's enough coolant in there right now to keep everything flowing without adding any more, and then I can just reconnect it. I was gonna put a valve there, but eh, what is that? Lumber, blossom seeds, are those oxygen masks all piled up in there? And that guys are really helped too. I mean, I am losing water still, but I could technically probably deconstruct or kind of cancel some of these balm lily growers, but I'm not gonna do that yet until I'm absolutely positive. Oh, there's more water just coming on down. Fine by me. Actually, wasn't this other geyser supposed to be working? Uh, bu -bu 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 not for another 17 cycles. Ooh, plastic. That's always nice. Hey, wait, wait. You don't belong here. You belong up there. So do you. Oh, those were those three eggs I picked up out of the printing pot a little while back. Oh, repair this. I still don't know really where this polluted water is from, unless it's like from the hatches. There's so many of them in there. Well, not so many of them. Maybe I, I could build another incubator for them eventually too. Probably wouldn't hurt. Alrighty. So far, so good. Let's see how much steel I'm up to. I'm up to 1400 kilograms of steel, which is a little bit after messing around a little too long with that. Oh, I can schedule this for digging. Next step will be to see how this works out with the water. It's already raising in temperature. It's gonna get hotter. Hopefully, I'm gonna have to put a vacuum pump up in here, empty this out of all this polluted oxygen and oxygen, make that a vacuum. Could technically pump that all right on over into that room and let this pump deal with it. And then after that's taken care of, I can build um, my steam turbines. I think there's room for three up here and a little bit extra, like for one battery maybe. And then my thought is, is that I might even take one of the lines off this aqua tuner, like that goes into this radiant pipe, and run it through the wall insulated. Or even right up the ladder because it's insulated anyway. And then into here and then a radiant pipe, just loop it back around after it comes out loop it back around and put it right back into the first aqua tuner. That would help cool that off, or I could pump it right into the forge, but I think it has to go back in and get cooled down again. That also might work even with maybe just one aqua tuner if I put an additional one here and have that hooked up to an in and an out. That way it's not trying to run it through all three again, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you have any hints, suggestions, tips, or other games you'd like to see me play other than Oxygen Not Included, let me know down in the comments. If you have any other 
things you'd like to say. Also, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you haven't subbed already and you'd like to see more, please sub. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I try really hard to make content that you guys are going to like looking at. Um, so, But I am, I'm new at this, so I'm trying my best to make stuff that's entertaining. If you have any hints on that front, on what I could do that you think, or some way that I edit that you don't like, you know, let me know on that. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks again. I really, really do appreciate it.